Yeah, so you, you get a start conference play, you get a win, and then uh, you fall to a snow limit. Uh, thoughts uh, after one week of a conference play in the books for you guys? CCAA is exactly what we thought it would be. It's an absolute bear. It's a complete challenge. Every single time you step on the field, it doesn't matter who you're playing. You can be playing the top team in the rankings. You can be playing the bottom team in the conference um, based on the records, and it doesn't matter. Anybody can beat anybody on any given day. And, you know, for us, we're still exercising demons. You know, we went into East Bay, gave up a shocking goal early on that we shouldn't have given up. Um, and it was fun to see the response from the girls. We went in at halftime. They were calm, they were cool, they were relaxed, and you know we unleashed them in the second half. And it was probably one of the most fun times I've had coaching the game in a long time. Was that second half against East Bay? I'm curious going to this next match. You know, after having the winning streak snap, how you guys will respond after a, after a loss? You know, it, it's always going to end somewhere. You, you want it to continue on and on and on. But the reality is, is that we know it's going to end somewhere. And to have the only two losses that we have this year against the number three team in the country in Western Washington and the number 20 team in the country, Sonoma State. And Sonoma was exactly who we thought they'd be. They were fast, they were athletic, and you know maybe the emotions of the day got a little bit of the best of us, uh, but we hung in there and we battled with them. We came out, scored right away in the second half, and we put them under a lot of pressure. We just didn't get the job done. And that's something that we've got to live with and move on. But you know this team, if nothing else, responds. They responded at East Bay, they, res they respond every time we go down a goal, we score more goals. And every time we lose a game, we come back and win one. So there's, there's no stress as far as the staff goes. Um, we really believe in what this group has going on, and we're excited to see what kind of response we have on Friday night. Yeah, kind of a different schedule, having the road game on Friday, home game on Sunday. But to just talk about uh, uh, your opponent uh, on Friday, was it Stanislaus? You know? Yeah, we played Stanislaus on Friday, number three team in the country. Uh, they just dropped one. To, to Monterey at Monterey, so you know there's a chink in the armor. They're primed for the picking, and we're excited to go and see what we can do against them. But they're fast, they're athletic. They're probably one of the more athletic teams in this conference. Their size is unbelievable, and there's a reason why they've had the success that they've had, you know, over the past four or five, six years. I mean, they're well coached. They're very organized. They love to attack, and and we're excited to be able to go back up and play at a facility where we've already won two matches this year when we went up the, down there to the tournament. And now we have that experience, and we can draw upon that experience right away. Um, Taylor, that was here, uh, girl that was here, uh, yes. last week, she had a goal on the last Friday. Yep. She has four or five goals uh, now. And just what she meant uh, to, to the program this year? Yeah, you know, any time a player can come in and score five goals in six games, it, it's a special thing. Uh, and, you know, the thing with her is it's the tandem of her and Markel subbing in and out up top. The players that they're playing around are special and they're really setting them up for success. You know, Markel is, is about speed and, and getting in behind and, and Taylor's able to combine and do some different things. So it really changes the flow of the game when we have one and then we make the change. And of course, then Taylor comes in and, and finds success. So it, it's almost as if, you know, it's a setup pitcher bringing it in for the closer and, and Taylor's done a great job of that. But again, to have a young woman who's local, whose dream was to play here, and who's making the most of it is really something special. And uh, you know, her streak ended with our streak, but we expect that it's going to pick right back up. Uh, just to ask you what you know, talk, we talked about it on Sunday. One, uh, what the challenges Stanislaus brings, and uh, how are you guys going to prepare for them in the coming days? Yeah, you know, it, it's interesting when you when you go and you play teams in our conference and you have to go from the number 20 team in the country to the number three team in the country and then you know we'll play another top ranked team in San Bernardino and on and on it goes. Uh, there's two approaches. One, we can worry about them a lot, um, which they deserve a ton of respect, or we can worry about ourselves. And we worry about ourselves. You know, we understand what we're up against. We understand what we need to do technically and tactically to be successful. And as a coaching staff, we will continue to put our players in the best opportunities that we can. But that being said, if we focus on the opponent too much, then we're going to get away from who we are. And who we are is a very athletic, very dynamic team that loves to attack, that defends hard, and that is very stingy. We don't give up goals. And then that's something that we continue to improve on. And so we're going to focus on ourselves this week, and it's going to be a great weekend. And uh, I know the last couple of games, you, said, you mentioned the early goal being a little bit of a problem. What are you doing to kind of address that as a team to kind of maybe be a little more focused coming out of the game? Yeah, you know, the, the Coming out of the gate at East Bay was really weird. You know, the officials don't show up. They're not scheduled. We're, we start the game two hours late. Uh, and the, the girls were ready to go. Um, and, you know, we gave up a soft one early.
but it was almost a good thing. It was almost a big wake-up call for us, and the girls came out and they responded in the second half. So, you know, there's a ton of confidence in the fact that we can score goals. There's a great belief in the fact that we can defend the back of the net for us. And, you know, for us, we're going to be a little bit more diligent in terms of making sure the details are taken care of. I think that this weekend in both matches, the details as a group weren't quite as sharp as they needed to be. And so we're focusing on the details right now. But we believe we're going to get the job done this weekend. Awesome.